What is up, party people? Today I'm going to walk you through the easy way to kill Mytha, the Baneful Queen. And the easy way starts actually before you even go into the fight. And you'll see, you can see this big puddle of slime here before her room. You can drain that. And when you drain that, just follow along the way that I'm walking here and I'll talk while I'm walking, the, walking over to it. If you drain that puddle, it will also drain the slime that's in her room. And by doing that, not only do you not have to worry about being poisoned anymore during the fight, but you also, she's not going to heal. That, that slime that she waddles around in in there, uh, that actually heals her while you're fighting her. So if you drain that, that pool, it just becomes so much easier. And basically you're going to walk down to this point right here, and there's a bonfire back there. I, I want to say that's a hidden door. I don't, I don't remember for sure, but if it is, just, just click it. And then there's a bonfire back there. Turn around and walk back out to the windmill. And if you walk up this little side side path right here, you'll be able to um, light that whole thing on fire. And there's quite a spectacular amount of fire that kind of goes. But basically what that does is it drains that pool in front of her room, and it also drains her room. So as soon as you do that, now whenever you go to fight her, and really it makes it easier getting to her too, because you don't have to waddle through that, that slime puddle. But once you get up there, that thing will be drained, and you can go in and fight the boss without worrying about the poison. So when you go in to fight the boss now, and she doesn't have the, the poison pool, and you don't have to worry about that, I found her to be really very easy. And I'm using the, the fire longsword. I have it up to like plus nine, I think, in this video. I, I think maybe she is she's vulnerable to fire. I'm not 100% sure on that. But what I found with her, there's one thing you have to worry about. If you're right in front of her, and she reaches down to grab, that will do a tremendous amount of damage. So you want to you want to just always be watching for that. If you're attacking her from the front, just just like attack once and then get out of the way because uh, that that's almost a one-hit kill whenever she grabs you because she'll grab you and then wrap her tail around you. But what I found is that if you you don't want to stay too far away from her because if you do she'll start casting magic at you. But if you just kind of keep a medium distance, she's eventually going to charge at you with her with her spear like that, and you can take a hit and roll to the side, and then you can get a couple hits in, and she'll usually even back away from you. But that's really it. That, that right there was like the perfect version of my strategy. Let her hit me once with her spear and then roll out of the second attack, and then I can kind of get at her from the side and hit her two or three times and then get back away. And again, the thing you have to worry about the really scary thing is if she reaches down to grab you, like that, right there. That's the thing you have to watch for, because if she does grab you, that's going to do a tremendous amount of damage. So just watch for that. Keep your shield up. Keep your stamina. Same as with every other boss. And, you know, wait for your attack. And you can see that I'm, maybe she doesn't have that much health. I'm not sure if it's that she doesn't have that much health or if it's just that, that the fire weapon is doing that much damage to her. But she doesn't. it doesn't take that long to kill her. And she's pretty easy to drink off of. If you wait for her to finish an attack and just back away, you can almost always get a, a drink off safely. And then she goes down pretty, pretty quick. And you'll be on to the Iron Keep. So hopefully this video helped. Uh, if you didn't have that pool drained, I know it helped. Feel free to subscribe and like and share. And until next time, I'm Miaro. Thanks for watching. Yeah.